So in today's home exercise tutorial, we are going to go over another exercise for Parkinson's disease. This time we're going to work on incorporating the upper extremity and the lower extremity together. And as usual with some of the, the past couple of videos that I've done, we're working on high amplitude movement. So it's going to involve the arms and the legs, um, a little bit of weight shifting, and just again, high amplitude movement. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do it in a progression. I'm going to break it down a little bit. So we're going to separate the arms and the leg movement first and then at the end we'll bring it all together. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said we're just going to break it down and the first part of the exercise we're just going to focus on the arms. So what you're going to do is you're just going to swing your arms. Okay, We've done this before. I think I just I think this is the exercise I did in the last video. You don't really need the wall like I used in the last video as a target, but you're just swinging your arms. And again, it's the high amplitude movement with your arms, trying to get those arms up to at least shoulder height in the front. Okay. And then your my feet are side by side. Then you're going to progress to your feet being staggered and do the same thing. Nice big arms. The next progression that we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the legs. So we're going to work on the weight shift. So you're going to shift forward and shift back. Shift forward and shift back. Like a, uh, a common mistake I see is people don't shift enough. So you think you're shifting far enough forward and you think you're shifting your um, weight to the back foot. Um, so really make sure when you shift forward you're getting all your weight onto your front foot and when you shift back you're getting all your weight onto your back foot. Another way you can test this to make sure you're doing that movement, getting that high amplitude movement, is just glance down when you get forward and make sure that your body is over that front foot and over that back foot. Another way you can do it is that when you're on the back foot, lift that front toe. That'll just emphasize more of the body weight over the back foot. And when you come forward, lift the heel in the back to really make sure you're getting that full weight shift. So it's a forward weight shift and a backward weight shift with your feet staggered. All right, so now we're going to put the arms and the legs together. So you're going to shift forward, swing the arms, and then you're going to shift back. Shift forward and shift back. Shift forward and shift back. You can kind of already see how this is going to mimic walking a little bit. So you, there will be good carryover with this into walking, especially if you're someone who isn't getting a good arm swing. Um, this will really help with that with your walking because we're emphasizing that arm swing and then that forward shift and the backward shift. All right, and then you would do the same thing on the other side. Start with your feet just staggered and still with the other foot in front and then do the arms. And you get good at that switch to the legs, backward weight shift, forward weight shift, backward weight shift. And then when you get that down with the legs in the opposite position, you're going to put it all together. So one modification that I do recommend with the um, with this exercise is if you do not feel confident or comfortable with any portion of this, I highly recommend using a chair. You can do exactly the same progression, but the chair is essential. If your body does not feel comfortable, it is going to be much harder to get the quality movement that you're looking for. So if you need to, please start out holding on to a chair just until you get a little bit more comfortable on your feet and you go through the same progression. Only this time you're just swinging one arm. All right, when you get good at that, you do the forward and backward weight shift. Again, using this chair is not a crutch. Um, it is a means to an end. So it will help you to feel the movement and get the movement with good quality movement so that eventually you can let go of the chair. So you can see, I can, you can still keep the chair here and just take your hand off of it. That still calms your brain down a little bit, um, gives you a little bit more confidence and allows you to focus more energy on the quality of your movement. All right, and then when you want to put it all together, you just add the arm and the leg.
And then you can switch sides. You can keep the chair on the same side and just continue to work that same arm. Or you can actually switch the chair over to the other side and work the other arm. So another progression, a final progression, a very advanced progression of this exercise, and I only recommend this last progression of this exercise if you are in stage one and you still have pretty good balance, your, your symptoms are minimal, maybe not even noticeable yet, um, but you still want to be working on high amplitude movement and you really want a good exercise routine in place even if your symptoms are not that severe. So if that's you and you're in that stage, so I've got one more progression for you. You're going to rock forward and lift your back leg and then you're going to rock back and lift your front leg. So this is like a final progression where you're still doing that forward and backward weight shift only now you're adding that challenge of lifting that leg. Um, it will make the activity a little bit more intense. And if you do enough of them, you'll actually start to get work up a little bit of a sweat. But it also challenges your balance a little bit more. And you work on high amplitude movement. So it's got multiple benefits. So I hope you found this home exercise tutorial helpful. Um, please comment, like, share all the above. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Um, I am so grateful for all that have subscribed to my channel this year. I love it. It motivates me to keep putting out helpful content that you all can benefit from. So definitely comment below. You can send me an email. Um, if you go to the description, you can go to my website, send me an email directly with exercises. I try and um, respond to all of the messages and um, get a video together specific to what you guys are looking for. I hope you enjoy this exercise and until next time, have a good day.